perfectly cooked hash browns are crisp on the outside and soft and steamy on the inside. But oftentimes, people have trouble with hash browns where they're kind of gluey on the inside and they're kind of undercooked on the outside. Well, today I'm gonna to show you the method behind making perfect hash browns. Very important, you need the right potato. Today I'm using russet potatoes. Russet potatoes are great because they're low in moisture and that will help you to avoid a gummy, soft hash brown. So make sure you peel your russet potatoes and I have about two pounds of russets right here in front of me. And now what you need to grate the potatoes. If you really wanted to and you, you wanted to work your arm muscles, you could use one of these box graters. You wanna use the large holes on the box grater. But today I'm gonna to be using a food processor with a grating attachment. Take your potatoes and make sure you cut them into nice sized pieces that will fit into the tube of the food processor. And it really does make short work of grating the potatoes. A secret ingredient that helps to flavor the hash browns and that is one small shallot. So there you go. One little trick here in making hash browns, taking the potatoes and the shallot too, and plunging them into water and almost washing them in water helps to remove any excess starch. And that starch is what gives you that gummy, gluey hash brown. So gently nudge the potatoes around in the water and all of that excess starch is going to come off of the shredded potatoes. So now fish out the potatoes and place the potatoes in an even layer on a clean linen towel. And we're going to squeeze all of that excess water off. So you wanna squeeze the potatoes out, making sure you get most of the liquid. You wanna leave a little bit behind so that the mixture stays together. Now, look at all of this starchiness that has come out of the potatoes. This is really what you want to eliminate. Just for a little bit more flavor, we're gonna add some herbs. Now you can use whatever herbs are your favorite here. I really like thyme and rosemary would be great. And just give this a quick chop. Have a pan heating over medium low heat. So herbs in, season your potatoes liberally with salt and pepper and stir this together, incorporating everything. And now to my nonstick skillet here, I'm going to add a little bit of safflower oil. Take a quarter of a cup measure and you want to firmly pack in the potatoes and drop this right into the pan. And now gently, you can do this with your hands or you could use a spatula, you want to flatten them out into a nice even layer and this will help them cook nice and evenly. And these will take about eight minutes on each side. You wanna make sure that you monitor the heat. It's not too high so that the outside doesn't burn before the inside gets cooked. So eight minutes, resist the urge to flip them until you're ready. So it's been eight minutes and now I'm going to flip the hash browns. Now you want to make sure that you do this gently because these are fragile. They should be lightly golden like this and you're going to cook them now on this side for another eight minutes. So they'll be perfectly cooked on the inside and golden brown on the outside. So it's been another eight minutes. I'm gonna give these a flip just to see what they look like. Beautiful golden brown color. They're cooked all the way through. Remove them to a wire rack, and you could do this in stages. If you were having a big brunch at your house, um, have a low oven heating, and this can go right into a low oven. Um, until you're ready to serve. Give it a little bit of salt after it comes out of the pan. And I cannot wait to try this, so I'm just gonna eat it right now. They're super light, crispy. Mm. Now that you know the method behind making the perfect hash browns, you'll be making them every single morning. There you go, guys. 